Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is Friday the 28th. It's actually an injection day so I'm going to hopefully capture that on camera this time. So I'm going to sip my medication out on the counter. I'm currently making my morning coffee. The baby's still asleep. I'm hoping I can get some things done and hopefully this video slash vlog will take us into tomorrow because I plan on vlogging the Crohn's and Colitis Take Steps um walk so i'm really excited about that like super excited about that so i'm gonna take you guys along on the walk and hopefully we have a really nice time and the weather's nice and so yeah stay tuned so here's my medication um this is a two-week supply or what i can say this is a month supply I take my shots every two weeks so i'm gonna go ahead and take today's injection out it looks like I'm inside of my Angel Vita box. It comes with a little instructions on like how to do your shot. But we'll go over that later on to actually take it. But I let everything get to room temperature before I take it. So I'm going to go ahead and sit this on the counter. You know I'm here to stay every single day. as much as I do, but I absolutely love coffee and have to have it every day, even with Crohn's disease. So now when I'm in a flare-up, I would not advise, but I haven't been in a flare-up in a long time, so I enjoy my coffee daily. And if you do like coffee content, I actually have a coffee page and I'll put it in the description below where I just show my coffee recipes. So if you're into coffee as much as I am, you can keep up with me over there, but I don't really talk about Crohn's disease on that page because it's just about coffee so any so today i'm super excited hopefully i can get some things done i woke up oh, very very early at like five something in the morning and i just couldn't go back to sleep so i've just been up i've been doing other things i washed my hair i've had a lot of free time the key to success in motherhood is waking up extra early i'll probably show you guys my injection and in the meantime, hopefully I can make another video. Um, I'm really planning on doing my story of C. diff. So hopefully I can film it. Um, if you're seeing this video, then this will probably come out before that. So we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what's to come. <laughs> It is the morning of the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation Take Steps Walk. 
So we were actually just getting ready to head out. I'm getting ready to make my coffee. So I'm gonna pick one of my cute little to-go cups. They're color changing. You gonna help mommy? Believe in magic, that's what it says. We're gonna make a quick latte. So I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and make one now. Oh, and iced to go. I love iced coffee. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do before we leave and quickly pack her bag. And then we're gonna be home. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, down, down Good morning everybody, welcome to Take Steps 2023 here in Atlanta um, I know the sun is shining, it's getting warm out there we, But we do have a few important announcements to make before we start our walk today You know, from diagnosis to treatment to remission Living with IBD is certainly a journey, not only for the millions of people living with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, but also for their caregivers, the people who love them, their supporters, their healthcare team, a lot of you guys who are here today. No matter what twists and turns their journey takes, the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation is also there with you at every turn to provide resources, support, hope, and to get cures. And today, we take steps as an entire community to connect with one another, to inspire uh, one another, and to move us all closer to a world without IBD. My family was affected by IBD. My father had ulcerative colitis, and before he knew what was going on with him. He just thought he was gonna be stuck at home for the rest of his life, not able to leave the house. But once he got with the right healthcare professionals, the right diagnosis, the right treatments, uh, he went on to live many more productive, enjoyable years. So I'm so, so grateful um, for the role that the foundation plays in advancing research and supporting the IBD community. You know, during events like Take Steps and Torch Gala, I've had the pleasure of meeting a lot of you hearing you know, some of the most incredible and inspiring stories. So together, you guys are such a powerful group and I cannot wait to see what the next few years bring. Uh, organizations, uh, events like this one do so much to move the cause forward. So I'm excited and we are all here because we're gonna take these steps together, right? Every dollar we raise shows those touched by this disease that can be isolating. They, no, you're not alone. Your fundraising minimizes the challenging uncertainty that comes with the diagnosis by, of course, enabling the foundation to offer that guidance, that help, and that support, like the My IBD Learning and the IBD Health Center. And by the way, have you guys uh, downloaded the app yet for the Find a Restroom Anywhere? Um, yes, isn't that amazing? Amazing. Anyway, I've already downloaded it because I have, what, a five-year-old. I need that access at all times. So you're combating isolation by creating a safe space for pediatric patients at places like Camp Oasis, where kids with IBD can have an invaluable camp experience without their illness holding them back. You're fueling research that changes lives, including your own. The foundation has invested $500 million in research so far and has either funded or supported almost every major development in IBD treatment history. And that's because of you all making that possible. Please give yourselves a round of applause. and my family was told I wouldn't survive. At that time, my children were 15, 13, and two. They are adults now. They were, 
and they still are, my why. I literally lived in that hospital for nearly six months, experiencing a range of emotions, including anger, sadness, and hopelessness. While receiving medical attention for my physical ailments, I had to navigate the mental health challenges on my own. I had minimal quality of life. I was learning to walk again on top of a myriad of medications to assist in my recovery. Shortly after this, in 2004, I reached out to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation on my quest for credible information about Crohn's disease. Joining the foundation connected me with other IBD patients, caregivers, and advocates, and I initially served as a support group facilitator. Over the years, I have participated in several Take Steps fundraising campaigns, Day on the Hill and Advocacy Week, and this past August, served as a panelist at the inaugural Morning of Culture here in Atlanta. Together with my friend Stephanie, I lead Melanin Poppin, an initiative that aims to be that bright light of, light of hope, support, and change for communities of color living with IBD. Communities of color often have challenges receiving diagnoses and access to care. We have chosen to lift our collective voices and proudly pop our melanin to bring awareness as we not only put a face to the invisible IBD, but also add our beautiful colors as well. 20 years later, I am still here. I am living with Crohn's disease, along with primary sclerosing cholangitis, which is a chronic liver disease commonly associated with Crohn's disease, while also navigating PTSD and anxiety with underlying depression. My illness is debilitating and prohibits my ability to work. I know, I don't look like what I've been through. And I am grateful for that. Though my illness prohibits my ability to work and is debilitating, I am still optimistic. My dream is for a future free of IBD. But until then, I vow to advocate to shine light onto this invisible disability. Thank you all so much. And thanks to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation, I am honored to be your take step on a hero. And healthcare professionals and supporters like Dr. Cohen, everyone, it's your turn. Please tie your white or blue ribbon onto the rope. You may not have IBD, but you have chosen to make the journey towards cures your journey too, and we appreciate that support. Hopefully everybody has their ribbon tied around a rope. You're getting there, I see it, I see it. Okay, good. Now I want you all to raise that rope up, lift it high above your heads. There we go, and look up, look around. Look at the symbolism there. Those ribbons filled with inspiration, all of them holding them high. It can feel like you're taking steps is uh, a lonely path, a lonely journey. You are not alone. You're connected with an entire community with the same destination. Mount Remission and getting to its peak cures. We are all in this together because nobody gets through these journeys without help. And I got so high on a low. That's when I love you the most. Now I thought I should let you know. Yeah, I know. No worse, no more. We don't know. No worse, no more. We don't know. No worse, no more.
this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two I just wanted to go ahead and close out this video thank you so much for watching the vlog but before I do that I wanted to show you what the shirt looked like I hope you were able to see that but thank you so much for tuning into this vlog and I will see you guys in the next video bye